Good morning. That doesn't sound, that does not sound very exciting. You guys are not as exciting as uh, the guys in Chennai. That sounds better. Isn't this the center of IT in India? Okay, so you guys have to set the bar really, really high. Uh, okay, in the, in the next uh, 30 minutes or so, I will, I will give you a very quick uh, view of uh, what is happening here in India uh, regarding the internet, which why I actually will categorize as really a digital uh, revolution. And, um, and how's that having an impact in the customer behavior, both, both in terms of how they are actually consuming information today, but also how that is actually changing their by behavior. Uh, many of the things that I will talk about, some of you that are already uh, internet savvy and have uh, your business level that int internet is not going to be new. But for many of you, uh, I hope there will be some new important hints that you can actually live with and take advantage of. Uh, I will give a very, very uh, quick brush over uh, the most important products that we actually um, provide for business users. And uh, that should give you a, a glance of what you should be expecting for the remaining of the day. Um, I run an organization called Emerging Markets uh, within Google. And the goal of my organization is really to try to help grow the internet penetration across all the developing countries in the globe, uh, from Latin America, Africa, Middle East, India, as well as Southeast Asia. Uh, India being one of the most important markets uh, in that space, not only because of size, but because you can find almost any pattern here. You can find communities that are extremely savvy and will mimic the behaviors that we find in the developed world. Uh, but also, you will find communities that are almost completely unknown off the internet at the same level as you'll find in some of the, the, the worst countries actually in Africa. And that's actually a very good forum for us to, uh, to uh, pilot new things and try new things. Uh, because of that, my organization has the goal to really help businesses and, and, and developers and, as well as the large uh, users to come online and take advantage of, it, of the internet in many different ways. Uh, can we show the slides? And, uh, and I hopefully you will actually get a glimpse of some of the things that we are actually doing throughout my presentation. Um, I want to start by uh, talking about a... Uh, sad story, um, a tradition of over 200 years that actually recently um, came to an end. And that is the print, printout of the uh, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. And as you probably, those of you that follow this, um, heard that the main justification for eliminating the hard copies of the books is because of the revolution that they have been seeing coming on the internet, as they said, the internet fed. Um, it is a sad story because they actually have not managed to evolve over time and realize that the way users in the world were consuming information in the century has changed. And I want to start with that to call your attention that it's very important for all of you that are business owners to keep track of what's going on in the world so that you continue to evolve your business and continue to take advantage of that. A lot of people don't realize that today we already have about 2 billion people online. And the, the growth of that internet penetration is accelerating. And by 2015, about 40% of every human being on Earth is going to be connected to the internet. 40%. The biggest growth that you see on, on the chart on on the right is going to be coming from emerging markets. Uh, and by then, by 2015, about the number of internet users is going to be split half and half between the developed world and emerging markets. So it should be no surprise to you as to why companies like Google and Amazon and eBay and, and, and Microsoft and all the big players that are trying to, to be successful online are paying so much attention to these parts of the world. India is particularly important. It already has about 120 million people online. 
as Indians, you may say, well, that's nothing for a population of 1.2 billion, um, just 10 percent. But it is actually very significant. It's about the third largest internet population in the globe already. And if you look at the, uh, the segmentation of the society in India, you will see that those in the A and B segment are already about 50 percent of them online. And that population is spending about a third of their time when they are looking at media, consuming media, doing that actually online. And they are starting to spend a significant amount of money or doing research to make a buy decision online. To the point that e-commerce is likely to be a four billion business uh, in India alone by 2015. So it's a very important uh, revolution that we need to be paying attention to. And between now and 2015, right, the, the size of that internet population in India is going to multiply by 2.5. Quite significant uh, growth. Obviously, Google has been quite involved uh, on, on that trajectory to help grow the internet penetration here. Uh, we have both been focusing on the consumer. Some of you are familiar with our project, the Google Internet Bus, where we actually drive around the country usually in areas that uh, don't have uh, a lot of uh, uh, internet connectivity and actually introduce internet to first-time first users. Um, we, have the, we have already touched about 8 million people. Uh, out of those, about 2.5 have become uh, online users. And we'll continue that project across the, across the country. This is just one example. We have also been focusing on the business side with a program called Get Your Businesses Online, which launched here in India last year, uh, trying to get SMBs to come online when, and, pro, and helping them create a website for free. Um, this is very significant because India alone has 47 million uh, small businesses. And about 8, bill, 8 million of those are ready to let, take advantage of the internet. However, only 5% of those have a website today. So by bringing these guys online, right, that will increase the number of local content, that will increase the, uh, the, the, the type of information and things that users may be looking for when they come online, and you continue to actually grow that, that ecosystem. Um, many of you, particularly those that are not online or not taking full advantage of having an online presence, may say, yeah, that's all great, but what does that really mean to me? Uh, so I want to show you a few more numbers to, to, exp to uh, illustrate how important is this revolution here in India. In the last five years, our, the search traffic in India has grown by 20 times. That's actually quite significant. And that is obviously all users that are online looking for, in most cases, information um, to learn about something in more detail or actually to make a buy decision. Um, I had mentioned before, uh, e-commerce in India is already about 12 billion, and it's likely to become 40 billion uh, in uh, 2015. However, in some segments, it's already very, very uh, relevant today. About 80% 80, uh, 80 of uh, uh, e-commerce today in India is done by travel. How many of you continue to go to a train station or a travel agency to, to actually book uh, online, online travel? To book, a, to book an airline, for example, ticket. How many of you do that online? Okay, so I saw about a five hands on those that walk to a travel agency, and you guys saw the number of hands uh, of those that actually do online. Banking and broking is already moving online. Insurance is likely to be coming next, uh, so that a very large number of transactions are going to be coming online uh, in a few years. And the expectation is that about a third of all Internet users in India will be doing online transactions by 2015. As I mentioned in certain segments, this is already a reality today. Google has done a study recently to look at uh, automobile purchases in India and how people go about making a buy decision when they decide to buy an automobile. And what is interesting was that 50% of all those buying an auto 
uh, actually went online to do research about different types of cars uh, before walking into a dealer to, to actually purchase the vehicle. 50%, that's half of the people. And 54% of those end up making uh, change in their original considerations after having gone online. So as you can see, the information that they actually found online was extremely important to make their final buy decision. Obviously, we were thrilled also to learn that 96% of all those that did their online research did that on Google. Um, so I'm hoping that by now you are uh, a believer. If not, just look at the mobile numbers in India. 70 million mobile users today, 32, 30, 132 million expected by, by the end of, uh, of this year. Huge, actually, growth. India has is still a small uh, penetration, around 19%. However, the mobile landscape by 2015 is going to be about the same as Australia. And what is interesting is that by 2015, a third of mobile users in India will be accessing the internet via their mobile phones. So very critical that you also start thinking about how do you improve your presence on mobile devices, your websites, mobile applications, etc. Uh, another proof point to that is the consumption of mobile apps in India. It's the third largest growth of consumption of mobile apps. Some of these are entertainment, games, but a lot of those are actually informational uh, type uh, applications. And if you look at the segment of, of users in India that have smartphones, that becomes even more interesting, where a large number of them are actually looking for critical information within their, within their, their actually uh, phones. And after they actually do searches, about four, particularly those related to buy uh, a product or to make a buy decision, 40% of those actually call the business to either obtain additional information or to discuss a deal. Uh, and 30% of those actually end up into a buy decision uh, or even through a transactional to make a purchase via their mobile phone. That's very significant uh, among that. Uh, segment of the population. So it's obviously not late, uh, and I encourage all of you to start taking advantage of this big trend. Um, there is many ways you can actually uh, improve your online presence and your brand. Uh, simply, it starts with some of the basic Google products. Make sure that you have uh, an online presence that you can be uh, found on search on Google search. Um, Make sure that you are actually visible within Google Maps, and even go beyond a simple entry on Google Maps by creating a plus page. That's uh, a place where you'll have a lot of information about your own business. If you do that, as customers are looking for a specific um, item on Google Maps on search, they will be able to get detailed information, as you see uh, in the slide, about, about your specific business, the address, the telephone number, uh, and other information that you may choose to put there. If you don't have an online presence, take advantage of the program that we have running in India right now uh, and go get your business a website. Um, and, and make sure that that website is not only uh, tailored to a desktop, but also to a mobile uh, device. Obviously, if you are already uh, online, uh, and you uh, are in the business of providing content, uh, you can actually make some money by taking advantage of AdSense, by reserving some space on your website for, for ads that can be served by Google through, our, uh, through the network of, ad, of uh, advertisers that we actually engaged with. Um, and, uh, and we provide revenue share uh, with you uh, on their uh, over those uh, specific ads. Or if you have a website and you want to increase the traffic to your website, obviously you know about AdWords, take advantage of that, placing uh, ads within search or other Google products so that by clicking on those ads, the user will be directed to your website, increasing the traffic and the visibility of the cool information that you actually have there. 
Don't forget, however, the video. A lot of people tend to forget that the next major media, uh, form of media being consumed by users is actually online video. About the same revolution that we saw with TV uh, several decades ago uh, or with cable TV uh, about two decades ago. And that's also the case in uh, India. The growth of uh, YouTube and online video in general is phenomenal, uh, as, uh, as you can see, both in terms of uh, hours uh, of, uh, that a single user is actually viewing, as well as the total number of users that are uh, already viewing uh, YouTube videos online. Uh, YouTube is actually the number one video site in the country. It's the second largest search site in the country. Um, just after uh, Google. And even if you compare just among the TV stations, is the 11th biggest channel among TV channels in, uh, in India, ahead of uh, Sen TV. And we actually have countries in the world already where YouTube represents more than all of the TV channels that you have in that country. So as you can see, as more people come online, uh, and as I had mentioned before, particularly among segment A and B of the population, they are spending about a third of their media time on online video sites. You can see that the tendency at this type of media becoming more and more important. So make sure that you have a presence in there. This is a great channel for awareness, a great channel for you to actually touch a very large number uh, of, of uh, users. Um, and you can do this in multiple, in many different ways, by videos, by ads, by, again, traffic that you can uh, uh, push into your website from this channel and, and so on and so forth. Um, just another example on, uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, you saw the, uh, the uh, I don't know if many of you actually watch the games, the cricket games on, on YouTube. Just look at the number of uh, video plays back, playback that took place. Uh, 18 million, 100,000 subscribers, uh, 15 million live views happening on that. That's really significant. And if you look at the growth year to year, you can imagine what the tendency is going to be in the next few years. If you want to get closer to your customers, uh, there are many other things that you can do. And one of the uh, for us, one of the most important investments that Google currently has is around extending social networks for businesses. Um, and before I talk a little bit more about this, I want to show you a video of uh, this small business that is taking advantage of Google+. Plus. Can we play the video, please? <laughs> I make buddies of all my customers. It's really kind of a funny thing, and I, I think I've always had this uh, this ability to kind of break down those walls and make people feel at home with how I work. Uh, but my, I love my customers. I mean, I think as kooky as they can be, as kind of gruff as they can be, whatever you know, send them all my way, and, and I can kind of uh, I can cope with them and disarm them and make them feel at ease. I don't expect tips. I don't expect anything, you know, monetarily. That will come. Um, but I just like their loyalty. I like that they come in and they know me and they, they smile when they, when they come into the shop and feel comfortable. What makes my job easy is I like dealing with people. So I do my best to uh, please them and, uh, and that's what drives me. So you will, you will hear a lot more about uh, Google Plus throughout the day, but I want to call your attention that this is a lot about your business getting a lot closer to your customers. As you saw in the video, uh, this allows you to segment your customers um, ar around the notion of circles. Um, segment them or divide them in very small communities so that you can have very target communication means with them. Get even closer to them, as you saw, with a hangout right, that would allow not only you, but also some of them to interact among themselves. Um, but this is particularly important if you have a lot of customers that cannot come to your shop to spend face-to-face uh, uh, -face time actually uh, with you. Um, also allows your customers to actually talk about you to other, uh, to other potential customers that are within their circles by using 
the plus button, for example. And all of that knowledge, all of that data gets integrated in many of the other Google products so that if uh, some of their friends are looking for an, a business on Google Search, for example, they will be able to see that that friend recommended actually you uh, influencing the, the ranking results. And we know by many, many uh, research that um, recommendations coming from friends are a lot more powerful than any other types of, of recommendations. So don't treat Google Plus as simply a forum for people to gossip and play online. It's extremely important as, as a media forum for businesses to become much closer to, uh, to their customers and, and with that be a lot more effective. And if you are not taking advantage of the cloud, um, uh, you are also missing a big opportunity. Um, you are probably familiar with the uh, Google apps that we actually offer. So take advantage of Gmail, Calendaring, Google Docs, and, uh, and, and all the other products that we have on this space. Depending on the size of your business, it's for free. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's charged. The biggest advantage is no IT infrastructure for you to manage, no upgrades, no hassles with how do I deal with backup and recovery and, and so on and so forth. So a lot of less headaches so that you can focus specifically on the goal uh, of, uh, of your business. So uh, that was a very quick glance on some of the products you are expected to see today. Um, if you have no online presence, I hope you don't leave here without making a decision to go create a website. If you have one, take advantage of the event to learn a lot more about other products that you can take advantage of. Obviously, um, we are here to teach you how to do this uh, in the India way. Um, even though we are a global uh, company, we try to be uh, as close to, uh, to each region as possible. Uh, we don't claim to be experts in India, even though we have, even though we have um, a lot of uh, employees here. For us, these events are also important to get feedback from all of you. So I would really appreciate if you actually could give us feedback on the event, on our products, on what we are seeing as things that areas that we are working on. Uh, because we take this very seriously and they help us know how to actually improve and how to bring better products and services to your specific country. Uh, I'm going to finish my uh, talk by uh, give you uh, a summary of the online revolution that is taking place in India and how people can actually take advantage of that uh, in the India way. Let's play the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, take advantage of the Googlers that are actually here. Uh, many of them came from far away, Europe, US, many parts of Asia, as well as obviously many parts of India. They came here to serve you. They came here to answer any questions that you have. If they don't know the answer, 
they will actually take and get back to you. So I hope you have a very nice day. Uh, take advantage of all the sessions and the Googlers, and in particular, have a lot of fun. Thank you very much. You want to show it to them? Sure. I love it. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you.